More on the legacy of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, her unprecedented legal career, taking her to an unlikely place in her later years, and that is pop culture icon. We're going to hear from one of her closest friends, Nina Totenberg, in just a moment. But first, Deborah Roberts joins us now with more on such an incredible life. Good morning there, Deb. Good morning, Robin. And you're absolutely right. There have been other Supreme Court justices who've left a mark on the court, but few have resonated as profoundly as Ruth Bader Ginsburg. She stood barely five feet tall, but her image loomed large. The 87-year-old justice, just a fierce fighter in life and work, and, as you say, she achieved cult-like status. The world remembers her as a brilliant legal superforce, but in the latter part of her career, Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg also became a cultural icon. Her fight for equality getting the full Hollywood treatment in the movie on the basis of sex. So they're gonna give you a corner office? I wasn't what they were looking for. One said women are too emotional to be lawyers. Diminutive, but with a giant intellect, Ginsburg was hailed for her legal prowess and sharp dissents, so much so that she was affectionately dubbed the notorious RBG. Lawyer and author Shauna Kanainik, giving Justice Ginsburg that fierce-sounding nickname on a blog as a law student seven years ago, comparing her to late rapper Notorious B.I.G. They were both born and bred in Brooklyn, New York, and they both used their words to speak truth to power. The bespectacled justice with the whimsical collars also becoming a popular meme, leading some to call her the meme supreme. You could kind of see the gleam in her eye as she took in the love of the crowd. And the octogenarian's image finding its way onto t-shirts, mugs, even tattoos. Ginsburg's cultural impact sealed with Saturday Night Live paying homage to the legendary justice in this video. <laughs> like a butterfly, I sting like a bee, I clean myself like a fly. <laughs> In the Oscar-nominated documentary RBG, Ginsburg reacting to that clip. She was able to laugh at Kate McKinnon's impersonation of her, which of course is just completely over the top, and yet there was a real truth behind that impersonation, and it, and it uh, gave her a kick. But her biggest impact of all may be on the next generation. This weekend, social media flooded with parents sharing pictures of their daughters dressed up as the justice, all honoring their role model. Ruth Bader Ginsburg was also a huge opera buff, even appearing on stage in a small speaking role just a few years back. The tributes and the honors just pouring in for this extraordinary life. The governor of New York even announcing plans to build a statue in Ginsburg honor in Brooklyn, her hometown. Robin. All right, Deb, thank you so much. And joining us now is Ginsburg's good friend, NPR legal affairs correspondent, Nina Totenberg. And Nina, thank you so much for your time this morning and our condolences to Justice Ginsburg's family, close friends such as yourself. You knew her for more than 50 years. What a blessing that must have been. When did you first meet and how did you become so close? Well, I first met her when I started covering the court. I was in my early 20s and I uh, was reading a brief. I didn't know much about my beat at the time. I was reading a brief about sex discrimination. I didn't understand it. I picked up the phone and called her and I got an hour long lecture on the 14th Amendment Equal Protection Guarantee. <laughs> I was like a stuffed goose afterwards. And then the next time we met, which was in person, and we were at some conference, we never agreed on what it was, but it was very boring. And so, well, we did what lots of other women do. We went shopping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you're letting us see the other side of her. And the fact that she was such a close friend, when you got married, in 2000, she officiated the wedding, almost didn't happen. And because that it did is when you really knew what a commitment meant to Justice Ginsburg, right? Correct. She, I, she would forbid her husband, Marty, to call me the night before because she had had a blockage from her, all the radiation and chemo that she'd had. She said that it was my election eve and she was not about to let me be worried. Mm. And like thousands of other people who have had this experience, she showed up the next day to perform the wedding ceremony, never told me about 
that anything had happened until after the ceremony, after the dinner. And she said, you know, I was in the hospital last night, Nina. Would it be all right if I leave a little early? Everything that she went through and she still showed up. And there's something that you want to make sure, Nina, that people understand about her. And what is that? You know, I've been thinking a lot about why she became a, such a cultural icon in her 80s. In all different forms, she was such a stand-up person. But she wasn't just a stand-up person for individuals who were her friends or who she knew about. She was a stand-up person for everyone, for women, for minorities, for gays. That was her biggest role in some ways on the court was that she was a stand-up person for America and for Americans there as individuals. Just one of the many reasons she is being celebrated and will be remembered. Nina, thank you very much for your insight in letting us see a side of Justice Ginsburg that we may not have known. And again, our sincere condolences to you and to her family. Be well. Thank you so much, Robin. Be safe. It was quite a friendship between the two of them. And Amy and George, I remember uh, one time being on a flight from Washington to New York, and Justice Ginsburg was on the flight. I've been on planes with famous people before. The reaction from people getting on the plane and seeing her sitting there, I will never, ever forget that and how kind she was to everybody who stopped her. And she was busy. She had all her papers out. She was working. But I have never seen that kind of reaction. Never. She made a mark in so many ways. She earned all of that respect. She certainly did. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.